Hello, and welcome to this Oracle slash energy healing session, Oracle reading with some energy healing thrown in um, for the third week of August. So kind of mid August, but really as we step into this third week of August, I just thought I would do um, an Oracle reading. I pulled out actually five different decks here. I don't know if I'll use them all. Um, and we'll just see what the energies are saying. And as we go through these cards, if there's something that I'm sensing that feels like we need to do some kind of a clearing around it for whoever may be listening, um, then I'll do that. Because always we happen upon videos that have something to contribute to us or we'd never see them in the first place. So if you're here watching this video, I can only assume that whatever energies come up through the cards and whatever I'm being guided to to do a clearing for will be just right. <laughs> so I trust in that. And uh, I'd like to see what you experience with this type of uh, energy reading. Um, so that's what I want to start to do. Energy readings with healing built into them. So we'll get started on that in a moment. So if you're new to my channel, um, I'm Linda Armstrong, and my website is lovemylife.coach, and that's what I'm all about, helping people to love their life, to overcome the things that are blocking them, to release those heavy energies, because that's what it is. It's just heavy energy that's weighing you down, that doesn't allow you to really pull in and be the light that you are, right? So it's all about raising your vibration, moving into a higher vibration. Um, so that's what I do. And uh, we'll get started here with this reading. Now, as I was shuffling up the cards, I was shuffling this Energy Oracle deck and this card, number one, the sun flew out. So the <laughs> card flows out, just flies out of the deck. I know that that card wants to be read. So we're gonna go over this card. So it's called the sun. Let's see if we can get that glare out of there. There we go, the sun. So that is a good spot. Okay. And let's read that and see what comes up around it. So it's all about new beginnings and great creativity. So it says the sun brings blessings to the earth and this card pretends blessings in your own life as well. Just as the sun nurtures the earth, bringing new life in the spring and summer, this is your time for new beginnings. The onset of a nurturing new light in your life the light of divine inspiration and personal growth. This card often marks a time of great creativity, bringing the culmination of an important new project, such as the birth of a baby or the writing of a publication or a book or even the birth of a new you. Now, I have to say, I think this is all about the birth of a new you because the energy is really changing on the planet right now. More and more light is coming in. It's bringing up that dark denser, heavier energy to the surface to be seen. And energy just wants to be seen in order to be released, right? So this is what's happening. And as as the earth is going through this whole change, we're going through it. And sometimes we're not even really very much aware of it. Um, but it'll show up in these things that start happening either in your body, you'll go through physical changes, um, but definitely very much with your vibration um, and, you know, some days you might feel ecstatic, but you are still bringing things to the surface that need to be seen to release as we move into this whole new way of living through more and more light. Um, so if that whole concept is new to you, you can ask me some questions down uh, below and I'll gladly answer them to help you. But I think that if you're coming to my channel, you probably already have a good idea of what's happening with the energy on the planet and how much light is coming in and what light is all about. Light is love. Love is what heals everything. So when we are connected to light, and we can really hold that connection and really um, live in it, everything falls, in, falls into place, you know? That support that you have in spirit is just right there, like right there. And you'll start to feel it, like it's right there. Like you can almost touch it, right? Even though you can't see it. That support is there and it'll start lining things up for you. So I like this card because... Um, you know, that's kind of what I want to start doing with my, my readings is to clear the things that are taking away from that light within you. So, okay. So it continues to say, 
Um, now is the time to put your energy into expressing your truth and vision. Visualize the light of divine love pouring into your heart and mind like rays of the sun, bringing inspiration, growth, and abundant blessings. See the future you want to create and know the sun is shining on your intentions now. Okay, so right off the bat, for all of you out there who may be feeling like, kind of like, yeah, I've heard that before. That's like somebody else's story. That's not my truth. I, uh, I keep thinking that, you know, I can put out these good thoughts and the good thoughts come back in and, and you're just feeling maybe like um, kind of crushed on allowing that inspiration and that creativity to come through because of past experience, right? Because that reactive mind, that um, subconscious mind is only telling you stories it already knows, right? It doesn't really have the ability to see or feel and sense the experience of the good stuff coming unless we work it. Because we've been so conditioned to look to the negative or to expect the negative to come in, uh, expect the problems to come up, expect failure. So for all of those people who have had, so let's put it this way. Let's do a clearing for um, all the energetic, mental, emotional ties that you have that connect to all of the different times and experiences where you have failed or felt like a failure or someone else put that energy of you being a failure, even when it wasn't true onto you so we want to take all of those energetic mental emotional ties we just want to lift them up to the light just let it go just releasing that energy letting it go letting it go all those cords just cutting all those cords just wiping it clear like a clean slate right and then let's download for you right into every single cell of your body what it feels like to know that deep within you you are success you are a success just by being here and being alive and being the light that you are and sharing that light with the world. Because whether you know it or not, you're sharing your light. So we want to brighten that light, fill you up so much, inspire you so much so that you are the inspiration for others as well, right? Because that's what light is. So, okay, so let's do this. Let's, um, let's clear all the... Um, Vows, oaths, and decisions you've ever made in your entire existence, right? Throughout all timelines. That compel you or make you dim your light. Okay? All those vows, oaths, decisions you ever made that are the cause that make you not be able to fully step into your light. We want to release all of that right now. Just letting it go, uncreating it, destroying it all letting it go. All of that that was not for your highest good, all of that that is holding you back from being the light that you are, we just ask now to release it. We send it to the light. Send it to God. We send it to Spirit. All right, so just let that go, right? <laughs> That's funny. We're getting sirens right now, right? So it's almost like, yeah, use those sirens as like, it's like it's scouring the energy and throwing it out, right? You know, we use everything within our experience to move us forward, to propel us forward. So we just clear all of that. I feel like there's a lot more I can do on this, but I'm going to see, I'm going to move to the next card and we're going to see what other things might come up around that or unless I just get told um, to, do, to do something else. Um, but that's, that's the thing. We're really at this time, it's almost like we're recreating ourselves. Even people who are not aware that this is happening, it is happening. And you might even see it in someone who, say, is not like awake to the, the changes in energy and, and all, of, all of this that's happening in the world for our benefit, right? All this junky, crappy stuff, all the evil in the world is being exposed. It's being exposed, and soon it'll be gone. And we're going to be living in like a just a beautiful place where everybody loves each other. There's no question. Nobody's trying to pit us against each other. Nothing like that. It's just pure love, living with light. That's where we're moving. So now I'm going to take a, we're going to do this one. I don't know if I showed you the other book. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, we're going to go with Trust Your Vibes, Sony Choquette. So I already shuffled it up. I'm going to pick that card. 
Remember to breathe. Okay, that's always a good reminder. <laughs> because so often, like when our energy dips and it's low, all of a sudden we have some kind of a stress coming into our uh, space. Um, you don't realize how you, you actually start breathing more shallow, shallow. You start getting closed in, right? You start getting heavy by whatever this thing that came in that's causing maybe this anxiety or this stress. So remember to breathe. The easiest way, really, you can anybody can do this. You just take a couple of slow, deep breaths, like slow breath in, slow breath out. Do that like three times. And like on that third breath, you can just hold the in breath, like the top, like fill yourself up, right? With this, this breath, which is like to hold it for like six seconds and then just let it go. And you can just feel yourself just kind of get lighter. You know, you might feel yourself just sink into the chair that you're in. Like you start to feel your body again. <sighs> okay, I'm here. You can even do that. Okay, well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I want to be in the present time right now. A couple of deep breaths. Back to where you can then sort through whatever it was that just came flying at you. Okay. And sometimes it's just purely energy. So it's good to really start being aware of energy so you know. Because a lot of times it's not even your own energy. It's been, you picked it up from somewhere else. Okay, so let's see what this card wants to tell us. This breathe card. All right. So says, this is Sonia Choquette speaking, right? My spiritual teacher once said, there are no real emergencies, only opportunities and invitations to grow your soul. Some situations feel more intense and urgent than others, but all will be more manageable if you remember to breathe properly. Breathing is the gateway to the sixth sense and receiving higher vibrations. When you hold your breath, you deprive yourself of spirit and enter into a debilitating fear-based state of fight or flight, losing all access to higher awareness. By remembering to breathe slowly and deep, in through the nose, out through the mouth, you remain connected to divine guidance and higher protection when you feel in danger or threatened. So just, just taking a moment to just breathe, to even maybe notice how you were kind of getting uh, like closed off, right? Well, when you take in that nice deep breath, it just instantly opens you up and you're able to receive again. So it says, you've been asking to grow on a soul level. And for this reason, life may feel more challenging than usual. Take it as a sign of your soul's growth and stay cool, calm, and connected to your higher power through your breath. You don't have to know what you're doing right now or even have a plan of action. Just continue to breathe and remain open in your heart and mind to higher guidance because solutions will drop in. Like when we can like center ourselves back into a, our truth and really you can do that just with your breath. Then you become reconnected and solutions can drop in. Okay, so says just continue to breathing and remain open in your heart and your mind to higher guidance. Take a deep breath right now. Inhale, exhale. And she says, see what I mean? So let's do that, right? Just take a nice deep breath in. Gently, easily letting it out. Another deep cleansing, healing breath in. And out. Imagine as you're breathing it in, it's coming into like every cell of your body. Like imagine you could feel that, just breathing it in to your whole body, letting it out. And now on this next one, I want you to imagine that you're breathing it in and there's so much light coming in with your breath that it just starts to go out past your body. So now you're just filling your aura with this beautiful energy, this beautiful light that comes from just reconnecting to your truth, to your breath. I mean, you're here because of your breath, right? Your spirit in a body. And we know that the spirit's in the body when we breathe. <laughs> you stop breathing, there's nothing left in the body, right? So really, it's the easiest thing you can do and the most basic thing you can do 
to just feel yourself back to who you really truly are okay so so yeah in sort of in the way of those other clearings we just did let's clear anything that would prevent you from and forbid you from really stepping into your truth the truth of who you are and what you came here for so anything that is blocking that whether it's vows oaths decisions um limiting beliefs patterns and programs that are just running in the background that are really preventing you from being your truth from being you who you are breathing and feeling yourself as you we want to uncreate destroy all of that right letting it go just releasing it releasing those energies anything that's blocking that forbidding that from being yeah. and then releasing all of the energetic mental emotional ties to all of the times when you shut yourself down when you didn't allow yourself to be who you are to express your truth to even have the opening to be able to be reminded of your truth, right? To receive in some way from your higher guidance, from your higher self, letting you know, hey, hold on, we know who you are. Let us in. You just do that with your breath. Yeah. And so I want to download for you into every single cell of your body what it feels like to walk through your day-to-day, -day, being your truth, speaking your truth, expressing your truth, knowing that you are safe in being true to who you are, that you are worthy of being your truth, your nature, the love that you are, right? And anything that prevents you from knowing that the world needs you, every single one of us. We wouldn't be here if we didn't have something to contribute. Yeah. So just soak that in. Soak in this energy, what it feels like to really be you. To be your truth, to express your truth. Let's also release for you any um, any vows, oaths, decisions you ever made that would cut you off from your divine guidance, from spirit, from your higher self, from your guides and angels. Any vows, oaths, decisions you ever made that would have you close that down for whatever reasons. It wasn't safe. You know, you were punished for having that connection. Somewhere along the timeline, there's so many different things. We don't even know what it is. We don't have to know what it is. We just know that we want to release anything that had you shut that down, that didn't allow you, didn't permit you to have this open and easy flow of guidance and inspiration and information to come through spirit. Yeah, and just like, maybe even just like breathe and put your shoulders back and feel yourself taller than you might have felt before you started this video. Feel yourself as you fill up with this light that you actually truly do expand. So let's do that again. Just take a nice breath in. And now as you breathe out, imagine you're just sharing that love and that light with the world. Right? It's just this continual flow of our breath, of the light coming in, going out, filling us up, overflowing so much that we send it out to the rest of the world. Imagine if everybody consciously did this on the whole planet, how much more beautiful everything would be, how much more in flow everything would be, how much more we would easily step into that creative being that we are and allow our ideas, our inspirations to come out into our here and now reality life. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's good. That's two cards. We've got three decks here. Now, I don't know if we're going to do all of them. Um, you know what? Let's, uh, okay. Hmm. I have to do them all because I, I can't choose between which ones. I guess they all need to be here. So next we're going to do Kyle Gray, Angel Guide. And let's see. 
I did already shuffle it up, but I'll just do another quick shuffle right now. And let's pick an angel guide card. Okay. This one says, expect miracles. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just something about these cards. They just all seem to always flow together. It's it's magic. So what anything that would, let's clear all the vows, all the decisions that you've ever made in your entire existence that would cut you off from the magic that wouldn't allow you to believe and to step into all the magic that can come into your life without having to know how. We don't need explanations. That just gets us caught in the bind again, right? So let's release everything that would prevent you and forbid you to not only believe in miracles, but to allow miracles in your life. Yeah. Let's clear all of that. Vows, oaths, decisions, energetic, mental, emotional touch. So all the times when you didn't allow that to be, right? All the patterns and programs that might be running, we just want to uncreate and destroy all of that. And let's download you to every cell of your body, the highest and best way for you, what it feels like to allow miracles into your life. To walk through your day-to-day, -day, expecting at any moment, miracles show up for you in fact they do all the time we just don't always notice it so let's just download that what it feels like to experience the miracles to notice them as they're occurring and to open up and allow for more yeah soak that in i'm already floating i'm, I'm, I'm like out there with this energy that's flowing right now i hope that you can feel it too yeah miracles I mean, you can, I'll put it an easy way uh, while I try to find the page. Um, every little coincidence, that's a little miracle. How many times is something happening? Like, how the heck did that happen? It's because miracles are everywhere. And a lot of it is the more we connect to that uh, inner guidance, our intuition, and in that sixth sense, the more we appreciate them. And then the more they come, you just, it's like you, you have a thought of something, next thing you know, it shows up. You just make a statement, the next day somebody says the same thing right back to you, right? Um, there's so many different things. You're thinking of someone, they call you 10 minutes later, right? That's all because we're all connected to this energy in the field, right? We have so much more awareness than we allow ourselves to know. So that's what, that's what these miracles are right? Allowing you to open your awareness to witness these miracles, to experience them and to welcome more. Anything that would prevent that, we just talk to the hand. <laughs> Goodbye. Wipe it away. Clear that slate. However you want to imagine it, just see it. Like just anything preventing that is gone. And once again, feel yourself just kind of, I keep getting my posture keeps going up like this. I keep, so maybe that's, you know, spirit just wants you to Feel that, like own yourself. Okay, so expect miracles. Let's see what it wants to tell us. And here it is. Okay. So it says, miracles occur naturally. They're always ready to unfold. Your angels are encouraging you to prepare yourself for them now, right? Because remember, the sun, new creations, birthing a new you. Uh it says a miracle doesn't have to be an extravagant change in circumstance. It can be a simple shift in your energy that creates a wave of love in your life, right? That lifts you up. If you need something positive to happen or you're praying hard for something, this card brings you the message that something exciting and healing is about to unfold. In order to help this along, you're being guided by your angels to recognize and honor your own worth. Yes. This is what we've been talking about here. Okay. Uh, realize that you're absolutely worthy of, of miracles and they will unfold in your life. Your entire life has been brought together by miracles. They're all happening all the time. And the miracle that you need isn't a difficult one because in the hands of the divine, anything is possible. Yeah. So let's do, there's more to this card, but let's just do that real clear. And then, you know, one way I, I find that's, I find easy to get out of your head and get more towards allowing something new to come in 
is to like shut that mind off and just say, okay, what needs to happen for this to move into the direction that I want? Like what needs to happen for this situation to um, show me what is best and in my highest good, right? It's like, or you could even just say to the universe, right? What is it I'm not seeing about this situation that is for my highest good, you know? What do I need to do next to move closer to my desire? Like you just ask questions, right? And you, you're asking questions of God, the universe, your guides, angels, whatever you want to call it. It gets you out of your head because your head can't figure it out. It only knows what it knows. It doesn't, it doesn't have the, it doesn't always, I mean, it can, especially when we tap into the creativity, then those things that come in that we think is our mind figuring it out, many, most of the time, it's your guidance dropping it in there, dropping in the inspiration. <laughs> Do this, do this. Have you thought about this? You know, just throwing this stuff in. So like when we're in that open state, that stuff flows in. But when we're caught up in that lower energy, you can feel it because your body starts to get small. Um, you kind of cut up from that inspiration because it only knows what it knows. It knows what happened in the past and it knows what didn't work. And it knows what this person said and knows that person said that's impossible. That's all outside of you, right? So you want to just maybe do that little breathing, reconnect. <sighs> yeah, miracles, expect miracles. So the extended message here says, uh, place yourself in golden light. Remember that the light of God is with you right there in the heart of your being in your soul. Good things can happen for you, but in order to manifest something wonderful in, the light, in your life, you have to believe that it's possible, right? You got to step out of that negative mindset that's not saying that it can't happen because of blah, 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 blah. No. What if it were possible? Just ask that question. What if it were possible that I could actually create this in my life? What if it was possible? Simple question. Allow, what, what do I need to do to have this come into my reality? Just let the question out. Okay, it says, <clears throat> you could be seeing the miracle you need as impossible or even as too big for you to achieve. Ultimately, this is exactly what is blocking it from happening. So change it now. Your angel guide is, invest is inviting you to open your mind and heart to see what you need being delivered to you. All right? So just start getting into that visualization then, right? Seeing the solution come in. If it's a particular thing that you know that needs to come in, that you're asking to come in, then see it coming in. Feel what it feels like to already have it because that's the energy. we got to match the energy, right? The energy of fearing that it won't happen is going to bring you more fearing that it won't happen. The energy of, hey, I may not know exactly how, but I know this is happening. I feel it in my body. Feel what that would feel like and then hold on to that feeling. Keep revisiting it. Okay, so I'm going to, I might have to read that again. Let me see where I was. I, your angel guide is inviting you to open your mind and heart to see what you need being delivered to you. Feel that it is already in your life. Feel grateful for all your blessings and you will allow the miracles you deserve to unfold. Yep, I've done it. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, last card. No, no, there's two more cards. <laughs> Sorry. This is going to be a long one. But maybe next time I'll, I will only pull out three decks. That'll make it a shorter video. But if you're enjoying the energy and you're enjoying the messages, who cares how long it is? All right. So next one. Colette Baron reed the Enchanted Map. Okay. So this deck, this deck, when you pull the card, if it's upside down, there's a message in that position, either right side up or upside down. So since I already did shuffle, I'm just doing a quickie shuffle. Oh, this card kind of fell out. Oh, Gentle Gardener in the upright position. There it is, Gentle Gardener. Okay, and uh, yeah, this is a good card because uh, I believe one of my clients got this card like yesterday. Okay, so Gentle Gardener. Be your own person, be a conscious co-creator. That's everything we're talking about right now. It's just consciously creating, not being the effect of stuff, right? B being your truth, filling yourself up with light, allowing the inspiration to come in, right? Noticing the little miracles, all of that. It's all the magic. It's all the magic. 
So it says the gentle gardener is visiting you at this moment in your life to remind you that your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs create the reality you experience. Yep. I think everybody who watches this video knows that. She is the embodiment of the energy within you that is sent out into the field of co-creation and ensures that all that you are is reflected in the world of form. Are you aware of your thoughts? What is their quality? So that's a good reminder, right? To be aware of your energy. And your thoughts will guide you to what your energy is uh, besides how you're feeling. Because sometimes we get we don't realize when we start dipping into a lower energy because there's this mental chatter going on. And maybe we're not even totally paying attention to it, but it starts to bring us down. And then poof, you want to catch that as you're coming down. You want to really be aware of your energy so that you don't have to dig yourself out of that really lower denser energy uh it says believe in limitless possibilities and you will see miracles unfold the gentle gardener guarantees the integrity of everything you send out into the world stay positive and expect a wondrous return your garden is abundant with beauty yeah i like it i think all of the clearings that we were doing with the other cards are perfect for that cart that just came through. And so I'm going to leave it with, I don't feel like I need to do any clearing on that particular cart. It's just kind of confirming everything we've already done so far. So, oh, no, I need the deck. <laughs> so this next one, again, it's another Colette Baron Reed, uh, Spirit Animals. Really nice deck, beautiful artwork. Um, and this one too matters, whether you pick the card right side up or upside down. And we get upside down koi fish spirit. Okay. Right side up. It looks like it says there's always enough. All right. So let's see what the reverse position of that wants to tell us. Oh, almost opened right up to it. 36. Okay. Koi fish spirit. And um, that was upside down. Right. Okay. So in the protective, it's called the protection message, right? In the upside down position, it says you are feeling, you are feeling a sense of scarcity, afraid you will not have enough and not be enough to meet the challenges you face. Whatever your outer conditions, they are temporary and reflecting what was set forth in the past. Koi fish spirit is See, that's that whole thing, right? That old, that past energy, like it, that, that's that reactive mind wants to say, no, don't do that. You know that if you do that, this is going to happen. You know, like, you know, talk to them. I'm clearing my energy. I'm, I'm pulling in the light. I'm allowing myself to believe in the miracles. Um, I'm connecting to my truth. I'm allowing for inspiration to come in, right? Being a conscious co-creator. Anyway, so it says, Koi Fish Spirit is your ally in changing those conditions by transforming your inner beliefs about scar scarcity into plenty. Perhaps you have suffered a loss or are afraid that you will. Or you've been scraping by and feeling there are simply no opportunities available for you for, your better, for better circumstances. Koi Fish asks you to find a prosperity within you by connecting to spirit through spiritual practices. Spirit wants to remind you that your natural state is one of abundance. Remember all that you have to offer so that you can generate your own opportunities, love relationships, and even more. This is a great summary to everything we've just been doing because it is all about recreating yourself, like from that very first card, birthing a new you, with everything changing on the planet, right? People, well, basically, we're getting rid of this darker, denser energy so that we can start living our lives through the light and just being in the light and just being in this beautiful energy where you don't feel like you lack anything. Okay. So it says, even if you feel that you have little to give right now, find it within you to give to someone else. Even if it's just a few encouraging words, a smile or a helping hand, your action will remind you that you have more than it appears, more gifts, more strength, more wisdom, and more abundance. As you give to others, your own sense of prosperity grows and your outer conditions begin to shift in an alchemical reaction. Prosperity and love are yours to receive, experience, enjoy, and believe it. Oh, yeah. I love this reading. 
I'm definitely going to watch it again for myself. Um, yeah, that about sums it all up. But, you know, in a very easy way, I mean, you, you know, you, you know, every time when you do something to help someone, God, doesn't it lift you up? It's just automatic. You never do something for someone else, like from your heart and feel bad about it. No. Not unless you did it and you didn't want to do it, then you're already coming in with that energy, right? So when you're just open and, and giving of whether it's just love, a smile, um, who knows, something somebody was needing that is of material value, um, doesn't matter, right? A hug. <laughs> but one thing I know, I'll just leave you with this. One thing I know that I love to do that always lifts me up is that and I don't do it all the time because sometimes I forget. Maybe I'm too wrapped up in whatever's going on in my day, right? But most of the time, like if I'm shopping in a store or something like that, as I'm walking around doing my thing, getting whatever I need to get, I'm sending love to like every person I go by, every person that passes by, you know? And it just makes you feel good. In fact, I do it, especially now with all this, you know, I'm a light worker, right? With everything that's happening on the planet. I'm continually just breathing in that love and that light and sending it out. I even imagine that I'm putting this blanket of love, this fluffy, soft, comfy, cozy blanket of love around the whole planet. I do that many times a day, many times a day. And you know, I feel like it's contributing. I think that if more of us just send out love and I've done videos on that, sending out love. Um, it's basically your intention. There's no right or wrong way to do it you find your own way and that's the message from my guides I talk about it all the time in my videos uh, it says my, my guides always tell me find your own way no it says there's no right way find your own way keep it simple I was going to keep it simple first <laughs> but the message is there's no right way find your own way and keep it simple I got that message big because you know I've done all these courses on healing and you know they tell you how to do it this way that way but I had to find my own way with it with everything I've learned I found my own way with it and I keep it simple and that was what works for me that's the message I got from my guides maybe that message maybe I'm telling you that because somebody needed to hear that for themselves so what's more simple than sending out love Just send it out think of someone send them love you want to imagine you make a little snowball of love, throw it out of it. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you do it. I like put the blanket of love around around the planet. I like just sending these little hits of love to people. The car went by, send them love. That's what I do. It makes me feel good. And so maybe it'll make you feel good. Maybe that's why I told you. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I would love it if you would just give it a like. Um, send me comments down below, like any questions about anything I did today or the clearings or, you know, anything that you would actually like to have me do a video on, a clearing for a specific topic, I can do that. I've done other clearings like that on my channel. Um, so if you request something like that, I'd love to do it. Um, but I love doing these cards and it always amazes me how they just kind of flow together. It all makes sense. Um, that's magic, right? Little, little tiny miracles, little magic here and there. Like you just gotta acknowledge it and you see more and more of it. So I'll leave you with that. And uh, I look forward to being with you again. Bye.